Hey everybody, welcome back to another YouTube tutorial. My name is Atzad Naimi and today we'll be taking a look on adding colorblind support to our game. Even though it's pretty basic colorblind support as it doesn't completely um, rewrite your game to be more friendly to colorblind people, um, it definitely is a step in the right direction and it's really simple to add to already help colorblind people without much effort. So if I press K on my keyboard, uh, we can switch between different colorblind modes, which help different types of colorblind people. And we can also go and change the severity with plus and minus on our numpad to change how severely the um, help should be deployed. And that's really cool, right? Because it, it's just a few lines, a few nodes of code. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So here we have a basic first person character BP with a texture on the wall which represents a multitude of different colors. Now why do we have this texture here? Well, to demonstrate how a colorblind person would see your game, we have to use a wide variety of colors. Now what's awesome about Unreal Engine, it actually allows you to see through the eyes of a colorblind person. So if you go to the top left, go to edit, go to edit to preference, then you'll see under accessibility, there's this color vision deficiency preview type. Now if you click on this drop down, you'll see there's a setting for each type of colorblind, the green, red, and blue colorblindness. So if we test green, and we take our color vision deficiency severity and put it to 10, so we're at the max colorblind level, you'll see, well, uh, this wide variety of colors practically just changed to two colors. And that's bad, because if you think about that, that means the player won't be able to um, differentiate multiple team types, like different colors. So a green and a yellow team would look the same to the player, and that's not good. But Unreal Engine actually has something that helps color people color blind people out. If we go to edit to preferences and we go to accessibility and we'll see this color vision deficiency correction. Once you turn that on and then you also want to turn on the color vision deficiency correction preview with deficiency. Now if we go back to the editor you'll see wow okay the color shifted in a weird way but if we look here top left it's a darker blue color at the bottom left, it's a lighter blue color to a light yellow color. Yet at the top right, it's a white to very light yellow. Yet at the bottom right, it's, it's a darker yellow. Now, this means we change two colors uh, into four. Um, and while it doesn't have much of a difference in the color spectrum, it really helps a person with color blindness out. And the best part is... Um, this is completely easy to do. There's really no setup to doing this. This is all built into the engine, so you might as well include this free hull to your player. So let's go. Now we just turn off the color vision deficiency correction and the preview. Turn that off. And we're going to set our color vision deficiency preview type to normal vision because this actually affects the entire editor. So we're just going to go to our first person character. Now it's important to note you can actually bind this to UI, the stuff we're going to bind here. But uh, to simplify this video, I'm just going to apply it into the player. So you can see that there isn't a reason to be lazy not to support colorblind people. So we're just going to go here and search for the K key. This is the key I'm going to use to switch between uh, the colorblind types. Um, you can use the color input binding. Uh, That's just easy to use a key in this tutorial. Now that we have that key, we're just going to go and go and create a new multi-gate. Uh, this multi-gate will actually be the thing that toggles between all the colorblindness. So uh, you just want to turn on loop here, so it turns and loops over and over and over. Then you want to add two pins, so it's a total of four pins at the end. 
and this is where we're gonna set the color deficiency type. But before we can set that, we should create a variable for the color deficiency type. Now, if you go search into Unreal Engine, it takes quite a lot of time to actually find that color deficiency. So a very quick way to do it is to right click and search color defic deficiency type. So set color vision deficiency type. And you just drag off the type and promote it to a variable. Now we have a variable that can actually set the color vision type. And you also want to drag off the severity and promote it to a variable. And you also want to um, drag this correct deficiency off and promote it to a variable. Um, awesome. And uh, now you want to compile and save. And now that we have all these types, you can actually change them dynamically and call an update event, which is the way we're going to set this up. So yeah, at the bottom left, you want to grab the type get type and just want to go and uh, set oh yeah no you don't want to do that you actually want to drag type and you want to set type uh, then you want to go ahead and drag in the execution pen and I want to control W uh, three times so it makes four or three copies but it's four in total just want to go and align them so uh, just plug in all the execution pins. Uh, that's about so which one goes into which because we're going to set this up in our own leisure. So the first out one, uh, it's out zero then out one. We want to go to out one and set it to green we color blindness. Then we also need to set two to a red weak and color blindness. And then we want to set three to a uh, blue weak and color blindness and then you want to compile and save this means now we actually go ahead and update the colorblind type so we can actually go ahead and to make our lives way easier we're just gonna go and create a custom event so you just add custom event and this event will be called update color blind event and then you just want to drag in the execution pen. So what happens is we can actually go ahead and uh, drag in the execution pen off of these uh, set nodes, and we can go and call our custom event. So you just search color blind update color blind event. Uh, now we're actually gonna go ahead and call it from each single one. Um, so to save us some time, we actually don't have to make multiple update colorblind event nodes. Now this means awesome. Now we actually made it so every time the player presses K, it switches colorblind mode. But we still need one for severity. So let's click on severity and make sure it's on 1 by default. Because actually the severity in this setting works from 0 to 1 not zero to 10. Just compile and save that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna create two key bindings. Uh, I'm gonna go for the plus key, yeah, the num plus key. And then I'm also gonna go for the num minus key. And this will set the deficiency uh, severity. So you don't deep, do you wanna go here? Go to severity and uh, get severity you want to go ahead and uh, use a minus so we want to use subtract because this is num minus and uh, let's minus it by 0 0.1 now you might say okay but you're not clamping the value um, you're probably going to use a clamp right well, the fun part about blueprints, if we actually go to the severity, left click, you'll actually see the slider range and value range. Now, if you edit this value range, it will actually clamp by default. So the value range will be 0 to 1, which is awesome. Now it clamps. That's perfect. Now we're going to go ahead and just set the severity. So get severity and set it. And on press, you just want a minus 0 0.1 from it. Now we can actually go ahead and drag off here and copy these three. 
uh, then the, you can just couple up the execution pin. And we're just going to take this minus node and replace it with an add node. And then we're going to couple that up and that should be 0 0.1. And here, we've actually set up the entire... Oh wait, I forgot something. Um, you also want to update the uh, colorblind event here. So uh, you want to call this event again. Now, uh, to do that, you're just going to go here to the set severity and uh, just search color blind again and you start the color blind event. Now you can, can couple up both. So yeah, now they both call the event. They can compile, save, and you just want to go to the correct deficiency and turn that on and compile and save. This will actually be the setting that uh, corrects the color blindness. Um, and the show correction with deficiency, we're not going to turn on because we don't want the player to see how he w his eyes would have looked because he's seen with that type of color deficiency. Uh, we want to show him the corrected deficiency. So I did some bug fixing off camera. If I go ahead and press play, press K to uh, switch the modes. And if I go ahead and press plus, uh, we're on the max setting, and that means that so we shouldn't go above one. But if I try to press minus, you'll see uh, it takes a while because we actually went over one. Um, so if we go to our first person character, this clamp we put on the uh, variable, it actually didn't clamp it. Um, which is a bit unfortunate, so that's, I believe that's the way Unreal Engine actually does it. So we're just gonna go ahead, and here at the severity, the plus and minus, we're just gonna go ahead and use a clamp float. Just wanna put that in there, and you also want to control W to go ahead, and in front of the minus O1, you want to put that in. And that should clamp the values now. So if we compile and save and go ahead now and I press K to switch to colorblind mode, uh, you'll see, uh, yeah, now it uh, doesn't do that anymore. Uh, so I can press plus as much as I want, but it won't go over one. So that's how we actually fix this problem, which is nice. Now also the player will have to uh, press uh, K the first time like he has to press K again, because the first thing which will happen is it will go out to a uh, normal vision, which is not what we actually want. So to fix this, we're just going to go ahead and switch out uh, the order of these. So we want to move the normal vision down uh, below. So I just want to switch the three for uh, normal vision, the two for the one above that, the 1 for the one above that one, and the 0 for the one above that one. Just want to compile and save. Now if the player hits K, you will switch colorblind modes, which is perfect. And uh, you can set the deficiency as much as you want without any problems, which is amazing. There, we uh, fixed uh, quite a few bugs. I'm sorry I had to make this separate part of the video. Um, I wasn't ready for this amount of bug fixing, but even with all this bug fixing, this video isn't too long and should show you that um, it's not really too hard to at least help people with disabilities to play video games. Because at the end of the day, video games should be able to be played by as many people as we physically can allow them to play. Because video games really helps a lot. Uh, video games has helped me work through stress in my life. And to think that there's people in the world which can't play certain video games because of a disability really makes me sad. So I'd appreciate it if more and more developers start just adding these simple, nice features to help people with disabilities. But that's it for the video, guys. If you like the content, please subscribe, hit like on the video if you like the video, hit dislike on the video if you don't really uh, like the video. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Good night.